In this video, we are going to talk about how to do the R plus 1 term. So for extension of A plus B to power N, okay, TR plus 1 will be equal to N choose R, A to power N minus R, B to power R. So basically it consists of three steps. Step 1 is you got to write down the R plus 1 term. Step 2 will be to find whatever you want to find. Okay, step 3 will be make sure you answer the question. So what does that mean? Write out the R plus 1 term. So for expansion of let's say 2x minus 3 to the power of 17, TR plus 1 will be so observe n is a power, so the power is 17. So it's 17, choose r. And the a is correspond to 2x. So replace the a by 2x. And the power is 17 minus r. b will be negative 3. And the power is r. So this is tr plus 1 in the case of 2x minus 3 to the power of 17. So this is what we mean by write down the r plus 1 term. Now as for step 2, it may be necessary, it may not be necessary. In our example, we will explore it later on. So let's go on to our first example. So for expansion of 2 plus x to power 10, find the 7 term. So the first thing we do is to write down tr plus 1. tr plus 1 equals to 10 choose r, 2 to the power of 10 minus r, x to the power of r. So in this case, we know that the 7 term, so 7 term, so observe, r plus 1 is 7, so that means r is equal to 6, so replace all the r by 6. So let's use our calculator to find out what is 10 to 6, 10 to 6, the answer is 210. 2 to the power of 10 minus 6. So 10 minus 6 is 4. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. x to the power of 6. So that will give us 2, 1, 0 times 16. And the answer is 3, 3, 6, 0, x6. So this is the 7 term. So now let's move on to our next example. So for expansion of 3 minus 2x to the power of 8, find the coefficient of x5. So first thing we do is write down tr plus 1. 8 choose r. 3 to the power of 8 minus r. Negative 2x to the power of r. So find the coefficient of x5. In this case, we know that the x5 will be the 6th term. How is that so? Because if you expand out the linear expansion, it will give you the constant term, followed by the x term, followed by the x squared term, and so on and so forth. So we know the x5 will be the 6th term. So t6 will be equal to 8 choose 5, 3 to the power 8 minus 5, negative 2x to the power 5. So 8 choose 5. Let's use our calculator to find out what's 8 choose 5. The answer is 56. 3 to the power 3, 3 to the power 4, sorry, is 81. So 81 and Negative 2 to the power of 5 is negative 32, x5. So we use our calculator to find out what's the answer. And the answer is 145152x to the power of 5. Now the negative, negative to the power of 5 will give us negative. So the answer is negative 145152. However, the question asks for the coefficient. So we must make sure we answer the question. So coefficient of x5 is equal to negative 145152. So let's go on to our next example. Now, for the expansion of x plus 1 over 2x squared bracket to power child, find the term independent of x. So what do we mean by the term independent of x? That means the term does not contain an x. So therefore, it's x to the power of 0. So now, let's get started with our first step. tr plus 1 is equal to child choose r. x to the power of child minus r. 
1 over 2x squared to the power of r. So now in this case, we do not know which term will give us x to the power of 0. So we need to go through the second step we talked about. So observe that when you know which term is it that you need, you do not need to do the second step, which is to find. So now in this case, we need to find. So write down to find. To find x to the power of 0. So let's look at our expression for the tr plus 1. If 12 choose r, x to the power of 12 minus r, 1 over 2x squared to the power of r. So to find x to the power of 0, that means uh, we are interested in finding the component containing the x only. So 12 choose r does not affect our x, so leave it alone. So the next one, the x affect our x. So write it down, x to the power of 12 minus r. Now as for this, 1 over 2x squared to the power of r, only part of it affect our x. This 1 and this 2 does not affect our x. Only the x squared at the denominator affect our x. So we only write down whatever affect our power of x. So x to the power minus 2 to the power r will be equal to x0. So let's simplify this. Chow minus 3r equals to x0. So chow minus 3r equals to 0. r is 4. So we know that the term is term 5, t5, equals to child choose 4, x to the power of child minus 4, which is 8, 1 over 2x squared to the power of 4. Let me correct, do a slight correction for what? Uh, okay, to the power of 4. So now let's use our calculator, find out what child choose 4, child choose 4, the answer is 495 x 8 1 over 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, x to the power of 8 so the answer is 495 over 16, cancel, cancel so that's our answer the term independent of x now let's go on to our last example so our last example will be find in terms of a the coefficient of 1 over x in the expansion of a over a squared over root x minus root x over a bracket to the power a. So same thing, we go through the same sequence. tr plus 1 equals to 8 choose r. a squared over root x. Root x is x to the power half to the power of n minus r, which is 8 minus r. Negative x to the power half over a to the power of r so now again we don't know we don't know what's the second term so let's go through the second step so to find x to the power of negative 1 why is that so 1 over x is x to the power of negative 1 so which are the components that affect our x this does not this does not this does not this does so x to the power of negative half 8 minus r this effect so write it down this does not this does not so that's what we have equals to x to the power minus one so let's simplify this so negative four plus half r plus half r equals to x to the power negative one so negative four plus r equals to x to the power negative one r is equals to three so the term will be t4 t4 equals to eight choose three a squared over x to the power of half to the power of 8 minus 3, which is 5. Negative x to the power of half over a to the power of 3. So let me move this over. So 8 choose 3. Let's use our calculator. 8 choose 3. And the answer is 56. a squared to the power of 5 will give me a to the power of 10 x half to the power of 5 give me x to the power of 5 over 2 and negative to the power of 3 negative times negative times negative give me negative so x to the power of half times 3 will give me x to the power of 3 over 2 a to the power of 3 so let's simplify a bit cancel 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 so it's 56 a 7 over x so the coefficient of 
1 over x will be equals to 56a7. And that concludes our example for this example. And that will be all for this lesson.